Budget 2017 calls for Philip Hammond to tackle callous underfunding of dementia care. The charity called the crisis of stain on this country's reputation as increasing numbers of families are forced to pay for care that varies in quality. It has handed the Treasury a scathing assessment of the state of social care system which it claims has seen around 40% snatched from the budgets of local authorities since 2010. Alzheimer's Society estimates there are 850,000 people living with dementia in the UK with the figure set to rise to more than a million by 2021. Chief Executive Jeremy Hughes said, if you take 40% away from the budgets of local authorities tasked with providing state care it's no surprise there will be catastrophic consequences for people with dementia, they are the majority of the people needing social care. There's a human price of this callous underfunding. Every day families call our helpline in tears, asking how they can find the money to pay for the care of their loved ones with dementia. One family told us they've been forced to sell furniture and clothes, take a loan to fund their wedding, and sacrifice their honeymoon to pay for their parents' care. It's our stain on this country's reputation. These are among the most vulnerable in our society and history will judge us on how we protect, care and support them. In the short term the charity said it was essential additional funding is put in place for the commissioning of social care services and deliver pounds 25 million to provide dementia training for all home care workers by 2022. Further ahead, Alzheimer's Society supports a system that pools the risk of the harrowing disease across society to ensure equity between people with dementia and other conditions. It says one way to do this would be to implement a compulsory social insurance system similar to those in Germany and Japan. The charity claims this would end catastrophic costs and enable the provision of high-quality and affordable care, guaranteeing sufferers are no longer disadvantaged because of their need for social care support. According to the Local Government Association Local Government faces an overall funding shortfall of £5.8 billion by 2020 meaning councils will need to make severe cutbacks to social care. In addition, Directors of adult social services departments say that over the course of the current financial year they will have to find further savings of pounds 824 million. Mr. Hughes said, it's time to end the crippling costs, inadequate care and impossible choices people with dementia face. The government has to act now by plugging the cavernous hole in funding in the upcoming budget. At the same time they need to produce a long-term, sustainable plan to fix the broken social care system for good. We can't wait another year and see more people with dementia struggle or die under this failing system. A Treasury spokesman said, We do not comment ahead of the budget 